Well, it's time for our last call now. The boss made his return to the stage last night at the 17th annual Stand Up for Heroes benefit. The organization shines a light on the service and the sacrifice of veterans. And last night, the star-studded event raised awareness and over $14 million for the Bob Woodruff Foundation, whose mission is to ensure that our nation's veterans and the service members and their families have stable and successful futures. I want to bring back our panel, John, Christina, and LZ. Yeah, that was a fantastic event. And Springsteen is just a rock and roll treasure. And no doubt that, you know, it's no surprise he was there. I can't wait to see him uh, again in April and then again in May. And uh, I'm going to see him as many times as I possibly can before he hangs it up. But uh, I, he was my icon in high school and he still is mm -hmm. today. I love that guy. He's a great rocker. I actually, Christina, I think I had a cassette tape of Bruce Springsteen's. Do you remember what those were? <laughs> yes, I do. Mixtapes, probably even. <laughs> I had an 8-track. Oh, <laughs> really dating myself. Well, he, it doesn't matter what kind of medium you listen to him on. His music is amazing. And more than anything, I think if not only is his music amazing, but he as a person is amazing. The fact that he has not been mm -hmm. performing to come out and do this, I just think speaks volumes to the kind of person that he is, always standing up for the little guy um, and just doing it with so much humility and grace, like treasure, as you said. Yeah, and LZ, of course, doing this to support the Bob Woodruff Foundation, a foundation near and dear to all of our hearts here at ABC. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I actually suggest lecturing about Bob Woodruff to my class uh, last week, as a matter of fact, that we were talking about covering the war and the dangers of journalism. And so it's wonderful to see him out there using his platform again to help veterans. And shout out to Bruce Springsteen. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm a John Cougar Mellencamp fan, and you can tell my age because mm -hmm. I threw in the Cougar in the middle there. But I love seeing 74-year-old Bruce Springsteen still not just doing his music, but also yeah. doing the other things outside of his music that really matters to him. He's rocking it, and I'll take a John Cougar Mellencamp, Indiana reference any day, I assure you. Uh, LZ, Christina, and John, thank you so much for your time, and thank you all for streaming with us. I'm Kana Whitworth. Please follow us on ABC News Live on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and more. And coming up here at 7 p.m. Eastern, be sure to catch our ABC News Live special election coverage with ABC News Live prime anchor, Lindsay Davis. Now, the news never stops, neither do we. Keep it right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.